Okay, guys, we're going to pick them right back up where we left off. I was led to pull another card on this Oracle card, okay? I care for the earth. There's something with this full moon in Gemini, the releasing that's allowing someone to really ascend, receive information, knowledge, okay? Um, maybe from the higher realms, um, information in regards to possibly um, some sort of connection, um, some sort of releasing, okay? Some sort of birthing. Number 15, okay, represents the card, I care for the earth. And number 15 breaks down to the six, okay? Six is the number that represents the lovers as well, as well, okay? As new life, as sexuality, choices, focus, desires, equilibrium, okay? Equilibrium between two opposites. Wow, okay. So this could be about a twin flame connection. This could be about finally finding the twin flame within yourself. This could be about ascension. This could be about higher knowledge. This could be about ascending okay we'll get into the ego card after we complete this information about i care for the earth number 15 breaking down to a six as we were saying from womb to tomb we are a product of the world we create care for and participate in the sleeping soul takes these gifts for granted and lives as a parasite as a parasitic presence, ungrateful for the present. But the idealized human honors the host as a mother and allows initiations into the complexities of infinity to give luster to life's light by living as a paralyzed presence of grace and graciousness. Someone is looked upon by the universe as a pearl. Graceful, gracious, the light. Wherever you go, you leave light. You are the light of Gabriel's lantern. Now I was guided to pull a card from Earth Magic, okay? And the card I pulled was Eagle. Okay. Eagle. Communion. Now, eagles fly typically alone, not in packs. They perch up at a very high, high level and they observe okay this could be representing someone in your energy field this could be representing your ascension this could be representing an air sign or intellect but definitely this is so mercurial okay with this gemini moon and you know just mer mercurial energy is very present here okay here the man and the eagle make contact through their eyes and spirits. The man has performed a ceremonial calling to Eagle Brother, who now comes to him as a familiar friend. It's an intimate relationship between human being and feathered being, one of both spirit and flesh, yet it's ultimately this deep spiritual kinship that connects them, formed from their recognition of the sacredness of their bond. Eagle spirit is often associated with the highest and noblest, encouraging us to let our spirit soar. Through this communion, we know that we can touch the sky. 
we know that we can be more than just two-legged creatures clinging to the ground. We're intimately related to all of life on this planet and it's through communing with any expression of life that we realize how vital connected how vitally connected we all are Communion with nature is essential for you now. Take some time to do an open-eyed meditation with any nearby animal or plant. Relax your body as much as possible. Breathe consciously and keep your attention on the life form you are communing with. After a few moments, you will notice a sense of the boundaries dissolving a melting of the I and thou. You may even receive messages or impressions as you find yourself in the flow of unspoken communication. Your spirits, okay, your spirit guides, the universe is trying to tell you something during this period. They are desperately trying to communicate something to you. Meditation is needed. Pay attention to synchronicities nature, sounds, numbers. Something is being birthed. Okay, that oracle message did take up a little time, but it was important. Okay, that someone hear this message. I will timestamp um, so that you guys can who are more interested in tarot um, can just jump right to the messages for you, okay? Sun. You're going to use Night Sun for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's call in some help. All knowing Source, Divine Spirit, Archangel has me, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael. Ascended Masters, 5D and above. My ancestors, my Arcurian ancestors, 5D and above, all my ancestors, 5D and above allow me to be the channel to bring forth truthful, clear, precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and bring forth the most healing, the most needed messages for those who they resonate with. Thank you. Guys, all of the cards have been pre-shuffled, but I love to share in your energy on camera. Cards. Okay, in the recent past, the current energy for my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the 
five of pentacles in reverse so definite um financial recovery there has been some challenges there's been some challenges okay There may have been, okay, and we're talking about the recent past to current, but I'm picking up on someone, okay, and this may not be for everyone, but someone has been dealing with some major challenges in terms of manifestation, in terms of finances, in terms of stability for the past five years, okay, five years, okay? We have Taurian energy, okay, with the Five of Pentacles. One more card for Sagittarius, Someone Rising Venus. Recent past to current energy, please. Wow, we have all Earth energy, okay, Sagittarius. You may have some heavily influenced Earth in your chart, okay. Bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> I picked up heavily in the meditative energy of someone feeling indecisive, um, unable to really um, deal with the um, the uncertainty of a new beginning of responsibility. A lot of I feel someone has a lot on their shoulders in terms of. It being influential okay or just a lot going on um that may be someone else's energy i'm picking up on okay but also guys remember feel free to reverse the roles okay however their energy resonates with you it doesn't matter if i say you're up top the energy is coming through for you is on the bottom if you feel like you resonate with one of the other energies feel fit feel free to flip it Okay, but there was an energy of some indecision, okay, um, in your meditative shuffle and your meditative energy um, of someone who is um, imbalanced and burdened. You guys may have had some burdens, but I don't feel like you're imbalanced. I don't feel like you are, I feel like you actually are very decisive about what you want to do, where you want to go. I mean, maybe some uncertainty, but okay. <laughs> Guys, okay, recent past to current energy, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry guys, I'm getting some information here. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Wow. Six, seven. Wow. Okay, guys. Recent past to current energy. We have here the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Sagittarius, you are in a great place emotionally. Your focus is this complete wish fulfillment. 
you could definitely have um, water in your chart, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a Piscean who sees you as their complete wish fulfillment. This is just your focus right now, okay? And this is what you're headed toward. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Abundance. Okay? Love. Not certain that that's one of the things that you guys are seeking, but this is what is in your energy. Happiness. Fulfillment. Complete satisfaction. Okay? Complete satisfaction. There has been something brewing there has been something brewing emotionally okay for about 10 months there has been some sort of emotional indecision in terms of what someone was perceiving as their complete wish fulfillment or their happiness. In the last 10 months, there has been revelations there has been someone trying to connect the dots trying to understand their emotions to gain clarity on how to move toward this wish fulfillment this happiness and that has finally been accomplished because Sagittarius you're ready this is what's in your energy and it looks very beautiful it looks beautiful We'll get into that in a minute, okay? The reason why I'm pausing is because I'm getting downloads. Because there is someone in your energy field that wants you to believe that you're not doing the best that you can. Someone sees you co-creating with the universe. Someone sees you in your power as the high priestess mastering balance like only a Sagittarius can do temperance balance healing this is you Sagittarius this is your recent past to current energy okay and we have okay this Taurian and Virgo energy here. Now you could have Virgo, I'm sorry, you could have um, Earth in your chart heavily, okay? In your moon, in your rising. You could have, you know, Virgo in your sun, but have a lot of um, 
you know, Sag and other placements like your moon or your rising, but <clears throat> Sagittarius. This could have been you for the past seven or eight months, okay? But I'm picking up heavily that for currently, there is someone who's trying to keep you in this energy. There's a heavy sense of blockages around you, although this is the energy that I'm feeling for you. It's bizarre. That's why I'm pausing. I'm getting these downloads. This is the energy that I feel for you, Sag. This is the energy I feel for you, okay? This is what I'm feeling. It's a lightness. It's a balance. It's something amazing happening. It's confidence. It's balance. It's love. It's happiness. It's healing. This is what I feel. This is what my energy feels, okay? But this... Is your recent past the current energy? This is an energy that I feel is sticky. It's stuck. It's trying to infiltrate. Okay? Virgo, Taurian energy here. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I'm picking up on the energy, okay, of... frustration there is obsession around you I feel like either there's a Taurus or a Virgo that is um, very frustrated um, the this energy may be dealing with some setbacks and loss I feel as though there's a very obsessive energy in your energy field and someone is trying to create setbacks for your completion for your new beginning um, there's an end of a cycle you are headed toward complete wish fulfillment and happiness, balance, and enlightenment, ready to receive the inheritance that you deserve. And there is someone creating blocks and setbacks, okay? Someone wants to block your creativity to throw you off of your focus. Someone is envious of your... growth someone feels entitled there's someone in your energy field who has failed either at attempt at being with you or at attempt at to block your abundance but someone wants failure for you someone wants setbacks for you there's blockages I feel them heavily all around you okay and that's just the downloads that I got okay this is Torian Virgo energy here or earth okay now this could also mean okay Sagittarius that this is the end of a cycle. Anywhere from five years to eight years, there could be a Sagittarian, okay, who has been stuck in a karmic loop, okay, of losses okay this could have been um having a difficult time finding your way finding your place um finding your purpose feeling as though you couldn't fit in to 
society, feeling as though maybe for some, you were very creative, you had big ideas, but the whether it was implementing these ideas or finding the right investors or just losing your way, okay? There's been a lot of setback, okay? There could have been unemployment, there could have been lack of money, the inability to manifest, okay? Inability to grow a business investing in different opportunities and none of them um, reaping the reward in which you put into it, Seven of Pentacles. Focusing, concentrating, you know, partnerships with certain avenues just not working out in the way that you planned just a lot of um hardship a lot of hardship okay but that cycle is over aside from this heavy energy of some possible earth signs or someone on your energy field wanting to block your abundance that's coming this is the energy of someone who has been through a very difficult cycle, okay, of um, of loss and of um, hardship. And that cycle is coming to a close because we have the Five of Pentacles here in reverse, okay? The Five of Pentacles speaks of hardships, of insecurities and isolation and health issues just inability to manifest feeling left out in the cold feeling at a loss but it's in reverse so this is speaking of financial recovery renewed confidence okay this is definitely speaking on um, walking a new spiritual path and brand new opportunities coming your way okay Sagittarius this is beautiful Whoever or whatever is trying to block you, they don't have a, they don't stand a chance, okay? They don't stand a chance because you are divinely guided. How do I know this? Because the Ten of Cups is a divine card for me as a reader, okay? This is abundance. This is um, wish fulfillment. And this is what you are. This is where you're headed. But to confirm what I was saying about the energy, this is what you are, where you're headed. But there is possibly an air sign, okay? Or a child of yours, or some immature energy, okay? that does not want you to embark on this new beginning to gain this wish fulfillment, this happiness, this abundance. Could be a Leo, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, a fire sign, a feminine energy, okay? A fire sign, um, an Aries possibly, or a fire sign. This could be two young people or two children. This could be about a child.
something is going to be illuminated okay picking up on Capricorn energy here but there is someone watching okay you Sagittarius there's someone watching stalking spying social media or in person be mindful of your surroundings okay the page of swords is in reverse here but there's someone who wants to come forth with some sort of negative immature communication okay possibly a young person or a child or a child of yours or um, a youthful person or just someone who just has some negative comments to make um, this person is feels inferior okay this could be someone that you walked away from okay in a third party situation that they're in a person that they're leaving okay um, someone who feels inferior to you or this could be someone in your life okay um, that's it feels inferior to you someone that you left okay a partner that feels inferior to you um, someone who cannot communicate this um, Something is being illuminated. Something is being illuminated about a child, about a new beginning. Okay, so serious. This could be you here. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Powerful, intuitive, creative. In your power, intuitive, focused, hardworking. But there is someone. Okay, Page of Swords in reverse, who has something to say. There's someone watching, waiting, stuck. Someone wants to communicate, but someone feels inferior to you. Someone feels inferior to you. Or this could be a, another fire sign, Aries, okay, Leo Sagittarius, that um, feels inferior to you and that's stalking you or watching you or wanting to come forward with some sort of information. But there's someone watching and there's someone who feels inferior, um, blocked, stuck, angry, resentful. Yeah. And um, they feel this way about this Ten of Cups that is coming toward you. Okay. Someone sees a new beginning. That you are headed toward. Okay. Page of Cups. Page of Cups represents creativity, a new beginning. Confidence, contentment, insight. Okay. Notice that the Page of Cups is looking off into the distance. The cup is lit. And someone is drinking the knowledge. They're not focused on the lovers, okay? They're not focused on the lovers. The lovers is behind this new beginning. Someone is looking off toward a new beginning, okay? This could definitely be about a divine twin flame connection, okay? Or a third party situation. 
this energy, okay, around you could be that of a connection that you're leaving. That energy could be involved with someone else and this person is very envious, very jealous, has some communication that they want to bring forth. Or this could be someone that you're leaving, whether it's a part of a divine connection or not. Your focus is on something new, okay? And someone is um, have a lot to say. They can't communicate. They have a difficult time communicating. So they're watching closely. Um, and um, someone is not happy about your new beginning. We have a Knight of Cups in reverse here. Someone sees that you are looking off toward a new beginning, um, disconnected from them or this connection. You definitely could have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart or you could be moving away from a water sign, okay? Focused on a new beginning and um, not focused on healing um, this connection. You're done with this connection. You don't get any inspiration from this connection. You're looking off toward a new beginning, okay? Looking off toward this Ten of Cups here, Sagittarius. That's what you're focused on, okay? And someone is not happy that you're not focused on this connection any longer. Someone is not happy. Someone is very resentful. And has a lot to say someone feels inferior to you or to your energy okay and someone possibly for me as a reader um, the moon represents Scorpio and Scorpionic energy but okay in the tarot it's Pisces but it can be any water sign for sure okay um, yeah Someone's not happy, but your intuition, Sagittarius, is on point, and there's something that is being illuminated. There is a metamorphosis happening, and um, this is affecting everyone in your energy field. They say, it's a saying that goes around that says, when a Sagittarius changes, everything and everyone around them changes. Okay, whatever hit that you got to your intuition, Sagittarius, is taking you in a different direction and it's affecting everyone, everyone. Okay. Pay attention to the signs. I think you have. Okay. Someone's not happy about you moving forward toward something new. possibly be a Leo, an Aries, um, or a Libra. You're focused on the Ten of Cups, okay, and not this connection, and that is being felt, and you're trusting your intuition. You're trusting your intuition, Sagittarius, because you... have completed a cycle. You're done with the betrayal. 
you see the betrayal and the deceit moon and ten of swords as plain as a nose on your face you are getting intuitive hits okay straight from the divine in regards to a betrayal deception and you released it it's over just like that and you're off no longer will you be stuck in the loops okay four five six seven eight year loops of codependency lack mentality five of pentacles financial recovery renewed confidence spirituality opportunities okay wow this reading is getting very intricate guys but <clears throat> you're moving toward the ten of pentacles i'm sorry the ten of cups there is someone watching heavily there is someone who is resentful coming through um yeah clarify this combination can I get some clarification on this combination please seven of pentacles in reverse the star the seven the eight of pentacles in reverse please Definitely, we have the star in reverse and the eight of swords, okay? So this was you in that cycle of repeated mistakes, failures, loss, lack, okay? Unable to heal, not seeing your star potential, feeling trapped, feeling bound, more Gemini energy here, Aquarius energy. Wow. Yes. Feeling trapped, feeling bound, um, feeling stuck in a cycle of repetitiveness, mistakes, loss. If this is that energy that's still around, trying to block you from your abundance, okay, attacking your finances, I think is that nature. This is what their goal is, okay? To trap you, to make you feel trapped, to attack your finances, to keep you in despair, to keep you from healing, okay? To no avail. To no avail, okay? Clarify the five of pentacles, please, in reverse. Is that serious? I don't know why you mean this. Clarify the five of pentacles in reverse. Wow. No longer 
are you allowing the secrets, the negativity, allowing illusions and delusions and fake friends, fake family, dark energies to infiltrate and affect your manifestation, okay? You trust in your intuition. You did it in the past and I cannot make this up. They cannot stop you, Sag. They cannot stop you. To clarify the five of pentacles, Taurian energy in reverse, we get the ace of pentacles and the ten of cups. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Start it from the bottom now and you're here to receive your inheritance, to receive your blessings. Whoever was feeling overwhelmed by the influence and by the healing or by the eyes that are on you, you create your own universe. You're the co-creator of your world. And there are people who depend on your energy, good and bad, but you are in, headed in the right direction. And this is a sign, okay, from the divine that you are. Five of Pentacles in reverse, financial recovery, um, spirituality. Being renewed, new opportunities. And to clarify it, you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Abundance, stability, new beginnings. Moving past the corruption, the delays, these people can try to block your abilities, to block your finances, to block your um, creative projects, but they will fail desperately. This is the divine's hand, okay? They cannot stop your growth, your transformation. Do you see all the blue here in the green? This is healing, this is heart chakra, this is communication, this is abundance, this is love, okay? Ten of cups and ten of cups. This is what God has for you and no one can stop it, okay? Manifestation in the material world, manifesting in the 3D right now, right here, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay? Whatever you've been working on for the past nine months is coming to fruition now. Okay? All of the struggle, all of the strife, all of the pain, all of that, years of confusion is manifesting into something amazing, something beautiful. Something beautiful. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, let's see who or what is coming through for my Sagittarians. Okay. Who or what is coming through for Sag? <clears throat> my birthday babies oh my gosh. happy birthday to all of my saggies guys feel free to go in the comments to let me know if any of this is resonating um you know if you felt this energy of someone trying to block your finances, etc. Please don't worry. <laughs> this is this is a gift. This is fame. 
this is everything you've ever wanted. But you walked away from something. This is the moon. This There's been a metamorphosis. There's been an epiphany. <sighs> something has been annihilated. Something has been let go of completely. Okay? Because somebody got the message. And... Somebody freed themselves and found balance and knowledge and confidence. wants to turn up pentacles with you. Okay? Sagittarius? Strong earth energy coming through for you. Guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, mind me. Okay. The Empress in reverse. Libra Taurus, Virgo, coming through. And the chariot in reverse. Wow. Four of swords in reverse. Libra energy. I picked up on that strongly in the beginning of your reading. Four of Swords is all about blockages, okay? Taking a time out, whether it's voluntary or involuntary. Um, this could be mind control. I haven't seen the magician come out in this reading, okay? I do pick up on a third party situation. I do pick up on someone moving forward. I do pick up on someone being highly um, spiritual or receiving messages from spirit, someone highly intuitive. I do see some sort of manipulation going on, some sort of blockages, okay? <sighs> Who or what is coming through for you? coming through for you Sagittarius we could have a Virgo a uh, Taurus Libra or Cancer that is um, highly aggressive or mother figure okay with the Empress in reverse that is highly aggressive the Empress could represent how someone feels about you or your success someone wants um, doesn't want you in power someone wants to destroy your empire um, but this definitely could be a mother figure um, a someone's mother someone's um, child's mother um, like I said definite Libra Taurus Virgo and cancer someone is lacking confidence to move forward okay Someone sees you as their Ten of Pentacles. Or someone sees someone that they perceive as theirs as seeing you as their Ten of Pentacles and someone is highly jealous and rageful. Someone's coming through for you that
The Ten of Pentacles card is very tricky. Because it could be how someone perceives their wish fulfillment or their idealized version of what a happy home is or a happy family is. But in the original Rider Waite, um, the Ten of Pentacles has the image of a family with a loyal dog and then there's trees and then there's someone looking through the trees at this family, okay, at this happy home. And um, it speaks of trickery or it speaks of um, how someone else perceives what someone else has and someone determined to ruin that or someone just not being on the same page about what a happy home is or about what wish fulfillment is or about how maybe a situation is appearing to be um, something that it's not. Someone is lacking the confidence to move forward towards your Sagittarius. Like I said, there's someone who is upset, okay, possibly a Taurus or a Libra about your success, period. There's someone unhappy about your success. There could be a Virgo, Ten of Pentacles, that's unhappy about your success. Yeah, with the, um, there could be someone who's frustrated about their transportation. I mean, on a very basic level. Um, but I definitely do, do see this as um, someone who doesn't have self-control. Someone is losing control over the thought of losing a divine counterpart, possibly. Someone is losing control over the thought of missing out on an opportunity with you. Someone may see you as the Empress, but know that they have destroyed the respect here. Someone feels blocked from whoever they deem as empress and blocked from their happiness. A lot of self-doubt, this person that's coming through for you. This person could be surrounded by a the mother of their child who's very jealous or angry, who's trying to prevent any for movement toward what they perceive as their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone feels like they're happy home is being sabotaged. Someone also does feel less than because of someone else's success. It could be someone's mother, okay? Giving Cancer, Taurus, and Virgo strong here, okay? So this is who is coming through for you. Let's clarify. With the Four of Swords in reverse, that's resentment, frustration. Someone's resentful of your success. Someone's resentful that someone wants to come toward you, possibly. Someone's um, resentful of your empire, of, 
of your aura of your success. Or someone's resentful that you're moving that you're moving forward toward your success and they are left with nothing. Yeah. The person coming through for you could definitely be a Libra, a Virgo, a Leo. Yeah. Someone's resentful, four of swords, lacking strength, depressed, lacking courage to come forward, um, to speak on their heartbreak. There has, there's definitely a third party situation here with the three of swords. Okay, this resentment could be coming from a third party a karmic possibly if this is a divine counterpart situation we did have the lovers someone's walking away from a connection so this could be a third party that's angry this could be the person that you're walking away from that's angry but this person that's coming through is definitely dealing with some heartbreak okay resentment and with the ace of of so I'm sorry the uh, three of swords in reverse this person wants a resolution they want forgiveness they want to look at the situation from a different perspective but they're not getting any communication and they're frustrated and this frustration is turning into rage and aggression because somebody is moving on okay possibly um Scorpio is moving on Pisces moving on um toward um the four of wands okay someone doesn't want resolution or they're moving on eight of cups toward their wish fulfillment toward passion toward um new beginnings a happy home whatever that means of course it's always um subjective but um yeah four of wands typically speaks of a promise, a celebration, community. They're moving on to bigger and better, more passionate endeavors, okay? And someone is very resentful of that. This energy is coming through for you. And we're gonna just clarify the energy is coming through for you, Sagittarius. Can you clarify this energy? Okay, who is or what is the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So the person that's coming through for you definitely could be a Virgo, but this person definitely sees you as very successful, that you're achieving something great, that they see you as their achievement. They want to be a part of your wealth or your success okay yeah this kind of came out halfway so to clarify the two of pentacles we have the queen of pentacles in reverse with the knight of cups okay So someone that's coming through for you wants to come forward with um, some sort of healing or offer. Obviously, there are some blocks, okay? One of the blocks could be a queen of pentacles, okay? Towards Virgo Capricorn or a mother figure um, or a martyr um, figure. But the queen of pentacles in reverse is very resentful, materialistic, jealous, um, smothering 
resentful. Yeah, really reclusive. Okay, um, and this uh, Knight of Cups is going in the opposite direction of this mother figure or this um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn or this um, feminine energy. Um, maybe the mother of their child, but definitely someone is moving away from this energy, this Queen of Pentacles energy that's standing in the way, in between what they feel is their um, fulfillment or um, their achievement or whatever their idea of like success, success is, okay? And that's why this energy that's coming through for you is not, in their mind, not moving forward with some sort of healing or offer. This Queen of Pentacles is standing in the way of the person that's coming through for you um, healing, okay? Or a new beginning or an offering or an apology. Clarify the energy of the chariot and the empress in reverse. Who is this um, repressed anger, this inability to move forward, this blockage, empress in reverse. Someone who is interfering with someone's fate, okay? Someone who's dealing with karma, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, astrological correspondence to you. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter. Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, okay? Um, so this could definitely be a um, Taurian Libra, okay, or Cancer. That's very resentful, rageful, um, cannot move forward, and that is interfering, okay, in someone's destiny or the fate of some sort of connection, and that um, there's some secrets that are going to be illuminated, okay, in regards to this betrayal, in regards to this manipulation, in regards to this mother figure or this cancer or this Taurian. Um, possibly Libran. Um, there's going to be some sort of revelation. There's already karma in effect here. And that is what's standing in the way of somebody coming forward. Okay. Or this could be the person that's coming, that wants to come forward, that is just um, dealing in a third party situation with the mother of their child or or a mother, um, someone with mother issues, or um, someone who is dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, um, and um, they are resentful that they cannot move forward, that you're moving forward, and therefore um, there's a lot of karma going on, um, a lot of manipulation, a lot of secrets, and um, this person that you're moving away from could just be resentful and um, dealing with karma because they are manipulating or trying to cause some sort of um, blockages with you moving forward, okay? Take the energies as they resonate. Feel free to reverse the roles. Wow, okay. That was a lot, guys. <laughs> Let's um, get a potential outcome for my Sagittarians. someone um that's possibly in a third party situation we had the emperor we had the ten of cups twice we had the ten of pentacles twice we have the end of a cycle here obviously we have someone who is very balanced okay that is um getting hits from the universe intuition is very lit 
bottom one is no longer focus on a divine connection or healing it. They're moving, looking in another direction. Okay, toward Ten of Cups times two. Abundance, satisfaction, new beginnings. Prosperity, inheritance, abundance, okay? And there's someone who is very resentful, unhappy, someone who wants a resolution, someone who sees someone moving forward to a new beginning, okay? Three of Swords in reverse, Eight of Cups, and Four of Wands. Someone's very resentful and um, can't move forward, okay? Four of Swords. There's a metamorphosis happening. Someone's intuition is heightened. And there has been, or will be, some truth about betrayal revealed. Okay. Someone's coming through for you. Phil's blocked. Phil's stuck. Okay, in a situation, possibly with a feminine earth sign. Unable to move toward their ten of pentacles. And the person that's coming through for you is either manipulating your fate or trying to with secrets, lies, or some sort of blockages, or someone that they're in a part, third party situation with is trying to, you know, interfere with the fate, um, believing that this person that you walked away from is heading toward you and they are very resentful and um, creating blockages, okay? So, potential outcome in the situation for Sagittarius. Potential outcome. For my Sagittarians. Okay. What is the potential outcome for my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? in their manifestation month, in their birthday month. What is a potential outcome in this situation? This healing, this cycle that's been complete for five, six, seven years of um, pain, of bad choices, of codependency, the inability to manifest your dreams, stuck in karmic cycles, relief, has come, the end of the cycle has come. Um, new beginnings, financial recoveries on the rise. We have 10 of pentacles. We have um, four tens. We have the ace of pentacles. We have the page of cups, new beginnings. Wow. We have the ace of swords now. We have the 10 of wands. New things burning from the Sagittarians with double sixes. We have three, 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 balance. We have fours, stability. Okay. Now we have two fives. So that's all about divine justice, divine change very powerful number. Potential outcome for Sagittarius, please. Potential outcome for Sagittarius. One more, please. Okay. Wow. Okay. outcome
Okay. This is what I'm getting. Central outcome, Sagittarius. The divine wants you to know, okay, this potential outcome. This is you, okay? Sagittarius energy, Piscean energy, the hanged man. This is all about making room, sacrificing, releasing it all to the divine, releasing what no longer serves you so that something greater and amazing can come towards you. Okay, this is about releasing, removing the delusions and any illusions and ascending, allowing yourself to let go and to make room for what greatness that's in store for you, okay? This is you. So this is beautiful. You are purging. You are surrendering. You've gained a new perspective, perspective and there are no more delays. There are no more delays, okay? Someone, someone sees us, okay? Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come and offer you something, okay? Possibly a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but this energy that's coming forward is very confused okay very confused energy coming towards you someone sees you <coughs> excuse me someone sees you releasing things left and right okay someone sees your strength and someone is coming forward with an offer okay but with the Seven of Cups here, this offer does not look um, secure. This knight is coming with attachments, okay? Someone is coming to tempt you. Someone is coming to fill you with insecurities, to overwhelm you, to throw you off of your game, use discernment in terms of what's coming into your life during this period. You're at the end of a cycle and you are ascending to a higher level of whatever part of the journey that you're on, you're ascending to another level, okay? Meditate with the universe because messages are coming in for you. Enlightenment is coming into your intuition. Your intuition is on fire. Pay attention to synchronicities and ask for discernment in all of your choices because um, someone is coming to possibly try to tempt you or overwhelm you, okay? Trust your intuition, okay? Let what's over be over. Like Angel uh, Kashio says, come to annihilate. I come to annihilate. Something has got to go. It's time to make room for what the divine has bringing in for you when the body is dead you say your words of respect and then you depart you do not stay and stick around a dead body for the soul does not dwell there it's over it's time to annihilate something, to complete something. And someone sees that it's over. And they're coming. Use your discernment. Potential outcome. Someone is not coming, okay, with the truth. Someone's coming with half truths. Someone has had opportunity to have truths. Someone is coming with confusion, ace of swords in reverse, deception, unclear communication. Someone is coming through that's insecure, that's trying to create confusion and chaos.
someone wants victory over something that's unfinished someone wants the opportunity to get what they didn't get before the queen of cups is in reverse um someone didn't get the healing or the unconditional love that they felt like they, they deserved and someone is coming to bring chaos to bring overwhelm okay the queen of cups in reverse is saying trust your intuition trust your intuition do not let anyone come in with half truths or with drama and throw you into a dependent situation dealing with this dishonesty okay you're going to be dissatisfied or you're going to be dissatisfied with the truth that comes in you are strong okay you're going to be able to decipher you're going to be able to see straight through this night okay that's what the divine is saying you're going to see through it because you already have gained the knowledge and you're moving on because it's over okay ten of swords you're going to see through the illusions Sagittarius because You're going to go within and you've already gained the knowledge. You're already intuitive. You already intuitively know and you've gotten clarity. Many of you have gotten clarity on something, okay? Potential outcome. Trust your intuition. End the cycle. Don't be fooled. Someone's trying to block your forward movement. There's still an energy of deceit, betrayal, and lies around you. That's why I was urged to pull this card out for you guys. Because you know, you already know. You already know. Okay? Lies, deceit, disloyalty. Okay? Aquarian energy with this deceit, okay? Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. But guys, remember, it could be any sign, okay? Just calling out the, the signs that are relevant, relevant based on the cards. That if you are Pisces or Aquarius, doesn't mean that you're being deceitful just in the storyline okay for whoever it resonates with if it's not you let it ride reverse the roles whatever it happens okay so you already know you already know trust your intuition and when you do that <laughs> when you do that divine justice is here okay You're going to get the justice you deserve. The truth will come out. Justice does not play when it comes down time to balance those scales. There is no higher justice than divine justice. What's in the dark will come to light. Okay, trust your intuition. This is the end of corruption and lies. I keep telling everyone, 2020 is the end of it, okay? There's a huge separation going on. Whatever falls away from your life, let it. Let it. You don't want to be a part of that karma. Trust me. Okay? So, divine justice. Goodbye to corruption. Goodbye to dishonesty. Okay, 
this could be the end of some sort of legal dispute settlement this is positive news it will go in your favor whatever the settlement is okay there could be some sort of inheritance coming your way we have the ace of pentacles okay we have the ace of pentacles twice here somewhere but it's so much abundance in this reading for you Sagittarius that it is unbelievable okay well you know we have the um the ace of cups the um ten of cups twice okay just abundance okay this is your potential outcome once you recognize what's going on around you put an end to it annihilate it be mindful of the trickery trust your intuition abundance prosperity justice and new beginnings wow okay we are well okay let's get an angelarium message for you the angel you can call on during this period and then we're going to close out your reading oh. intense times call for intense care intense messages i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoy your season i wish you happy manifestation i wish you all of your heart's desires looks like they're coming to you okay Sagittarius okay can we get an angelarium card for my Sagittarians please wow yes saw it okay connection root connection all right wow root some of you made it to balance your root chakra okay some childhood wounding um, some childhood trauma. You saw it. Connection. Rude. Okay. Great. Bear with me, guys. All right, guys. Okay. Root connection, the ninth emanation. The foundation that supports the world and forms the gateway between the spiritual and the physical. Yisad is the medium through which we experience the tree of life. Upon his shoulders rests the sky and all that lies beyond it runs through his fingers. We stand at this doorway and peer through, seeking answers to our nature. Through the indigo orb, a gateway appears. As a single column again, the flow of energy through the tree only moves downward. Yisad is the last stop before moving into the fully physical realm. He is the looking glass through which we examine ourselves. You will find this connection in new life. I mentioned birth or something being birthed or a pregnancy coming to fruition in the beginning of your reading. New life, speech, a doorway. Okay, there's an end of a cycle. Something new is emerging. Okay, you will find the answers in someone's speech and the things that you say. Um, Yes. Pay attention to the things you say. Pay attention to things that you're hearing, okay? As a single column again, the flow of energy through the tree only moves downward. The last stop before moving into the fully physical realm. He is the looking glass through which we examine ourselves. There is something from your past, something to do with your childhood, 
something to do with a child, new life. There's going to be some sort of communication where you're going to gain some sort of enlightenment, okay? So, there's some sort of ascension happening. There's some sort of gateway between the physical and the spiritual realm that you need to take note of. Um, your guides are trying to speak to you, tell you something. Pay attention to synchronicities. Pay attention to your surroundings. Your intuition is very lit during this period, Sagittarius. Okay? Very. Okay? Wow. There are beautiful, beautiful things happening for you guys. I wish you all the abundance and love. New beginnings, okay? Throughout your birthday month and every day, of course. Um, but there is a transformation happening here. A new abundant beginning. And I wish you all the best on your journey. Sagittarius, I love you guys, okay? I wish you all the best. Be mindful of letting the cycle end. Be mindful of who is in your energy field. Justice is on the way, as well as prosperity and amazing new beginnings. Even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop, which truly divine.